Good friend Chris Jenner later told Ellen DeGeneres that no one close to Nicole knew what was going on at home. As she put it, I didn't know that there was abuse until we heard and saw the whole thing unfold like everybody else. And then we heard the 911 tapes that were going to be used in evidence during the trial. It was heartbreaking. I think that this has been a really tough year for, you know, tough 15 months for all of us. And not only have we lost Nicole, we've lost OJ too. Chris says me and some of her other close friends were all really surprised and shocked by that because we felt really failed as her friends. It was horrible, which I feel like I would probably feel the same way too. Like if you thought you were close friends with someone and they were going through that and they didn't tell you, it just, it would be shocking. Chris mentioned some of those 911 calls as evidence and here's one of them. 911 emergency. Can you get someone over here now to 325 Gretna Green? He's back. Please. Well, okay, what does he look like? He's O.J. Simpson. I think you know his record. Could you just send somebody okay. over here? Okay, what is he doing there? He just drove up again. He just <laughs> so drove up. Over. Okay, wait a minute. What kind of car is he in? He's in a white Bronco, but first of all, he broke the back door down to get in. Before. Okay, wait a minute. What's your name? Nicole Simpson. Okay, is he the sportscaster or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Thank what is, you. Wait a minute. We're sending the police. What is he doing? Is he threatening you? I'm going nuts. You're going to hear him in a minute. He's about to go in again. Okay, just stay on the line. I don't want to stay on the line. He's going to beat the shit. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Friends also admitted that the problems began with OJ's infidelity because he would cheat, she would find out, she would then confront him, and then he would fight her physically. Now, of course, in the courtroom, we learned a lot more about Nicole's relationship with OJ, and it turns out Nicole did talk to someone, her sister. Her sister, Denise, later testified that she and Nicole were once physically removed from the pair's home, saying he ran upstairs, got clothes, started flying down the stairs, and grabbed Nicole, told her to get out of his house, wanted us all all out of his house. He picked her up, threw her against the wall, picked her up, threw her out of the house. She ended up falling. She landed on her elbows and her butt. We were all sitting there screaming and crying. And then he grabbed me and threw me out of the house, which OJ is a strong guy. You know, he was a football player, so he can manhandle these women and he should not be doing you that. Ever strike her? No. You ever hurt her? Yes. You ever physically hurt her? Yes. You ever bruise her? Yes. You had your fingers around her throat, correct? Uh, I could have touched her neck, yes. You mean you could have touched her? This was I a violent episode. What? You see those bruises on her face? No. You don't see anything? No. I mean, I see this, I think. You, you don't think uh, this picture reflects any uh, bruising or injuries or marks on Nicole's face? No, I don't. What do you think this reflects? I think it reflects uh, doing a movie that we're doing and we're doing makeup. Okay, you have to admit there's something a little bit in denial here. I mean, he's saying like, oh no, this is FX, like special effects. Like he's definitely trying everything in his power to save himself. Nicole wrote about 60 occasions that OJ allegedly physically hurt her and threatened her, including during their marriage, claiming he flipped out into a jealous rage and smashed her car up, threw her against walls and repeatedly left her beaten and bruised. I can't imagine doing that to a partner. Like, can you imagine like, being married to someone and then like laying in bed with them and next like being next to someone who's like injured and like you did that like i'm just ugh, i'm such a protective person like i like it makes me like irk like i don't know i'm sure some of you people are cringing at home too especially when he's like looking at the pictures and just acting like oh no like you know that's some makeup or something which if it is that's some crazy conspiracy against him but like this sounds really i mean the evidence is evidencing nicole was able to escape oj obviously she never really fully escaped him but she was able to divorce him on february 25th 1990 four years before she was killed. She ended up moving into a rental home with her children, and by all accounts, Nicole began to enjoy life as a single mom to her kids. The pair settled their divorce in October 1992, and Nicole received a payment of $433,000 and 10 k in child support a month. So, I mean, you know, sure, I don't know if it's like worth all that trauma. I mean, it's definitely not, and the trauma didn't end there, and that's what's really, like, sick, in my opinion. Like, Someone has legally divorced you as a human, like they have told you they do not want to be with you. Um, I'm sure she expressed to him that she did not want this, yet he continued to abuse her and kind of got worse, like after they separated. Like that it sounds like a total nightmare. On the way home, I'd say I'll see if she's home. If, she, if she's still up, I don't know how late she stayed out. You know, you know maybe you know, I can get some. <laughs> so he's essentially stalking his ex-wife obviously still so pressed and the fact that he had this controlling relationship over her and he could not let go 
of control makes me concerned for his mental health. Like what is inside of him that's making him feel like he needs to control this woman to the point where she cannot live a peaceful life. Like she's the most happy she's ever been like moving out of this home and now he is following her. The police had been to his house multiple times. Uh, we located uh, police officers who had responded to DV calls at the house and hadn't even written a report. I mean, OJ created this environment where, you know, cops could just stop by and have a cup of coffee. Police officers would come to his house and, and literally, you know, party and they just sort of hang out. Uh, no police officer was really interested in arresting. OJ Simpson for abusing the call. When you guys hear that the LAPD is corrupt, there you go. And I mean, it's even the same thing, like off topic, but like the Church of I can't really even say it on YouTube, but the cult church, they are really well connected with the LAPD too. So it does freak me out because like if you've got the police on your side, then they're not going to, you know. There's not going to be punishment. There's no justice. But more on that fatal night, because around 10 p.m. on June 12th, 1994, a neighbor heard a dog barking near Nicole's home. Another neighbor found Nicole's dog outside barking. The neighbor noticed that the dog's paws were bloody and brought the dog home. It was clear the dog wanted to be outside, so the third neighbor and his wife took the dog for a walk. The dog named Akita... <laughs> Akita, that's cute, led the man and his wife to Nicole's. Oh, this is why we love dogs. Like, I feel like my dog would totally come to my body too, but I don't know. I've heard also that if you are there for too long, the dog will eat you if they have nothing else, or maybe cats. I don't know. I think it's both, but um, but at first, you know, the dog is really sad. So, um, Nicole's body was found lying in a puddle of blood. Poor dog, even more poor Nicole, like, oh my gosh. While Nicole's body is laying outside on the ground, Nicole's children were inside asleep while she and Ron Goldman were killed. When her body was found, her head was nearly completely cut off and Ron had been stabbed over 20 times. Oh my gosh. Can you also, Nicole and OJ share children. Can you imagine being a type of parent who would want to take a mother from your own children like that is also just next level <laughs> mentally ill but again i guess you know he was never you know we're gonna get there <laughs> about the guilty or not guilty but um her children didn't know what happened to their mother when they were taken from the home by police her eight-year-old daughter called the family's home and left a message mommy please call back i want to know what happened last night please answer mommy Jesus. It was 25 years ago today that the country learned that Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman had been brutally murdered. Then came the stunning news that Nicole's ex-husband, football legend O.J. Simpson, was the prime suspect. Now, this was big news, so it went to trial pretty quickly because there was a lot of public interest. Everyone in the world was watching it on TV. On October 2nd, 1995, the jury began deliberating and reached a verdict in less than four hours. However, they delayed the announcement until the following day. On October 3rd, OJ was found not guilty of the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. 